The Gospel of Mark was written by John Mark, who got his information from the Apostle Peter. It was likely written in Rome around the 50s or 60s AD. Mark's readers didn't know much about Jewish customs, so he explained them to help people understand Jesus' message and how it fit into God's plan for the world. The main purpose of Mark's Gospel is to show that Jesus calls everyone to follow him. Mark talks about those who follow Jesus and those who don't. He explains that being a disciple means having a close relationship with Jesus, learning from him, and being ready to face difficulties like he did. This is John. John lived about 2,000 years ago. God had told him to live in the desert and to talk to the people who would come to him there, asking them to change their lives. As a sign that they really wanted to live a better life and follow God, the people let John lower them under the water of the Jordan River and bring them up again. This process was called baptism. Because John did this, he was also called John the Baptist. One day, when Jesus was 30 years old, he visited John in order to be baptized. John recognized that Jesus was the Son of God, and therefore told the people who were with him, This is the man I told you about. I told you there is someone coming who is more important than me. He is the one sent by God, who will make a way for us to be cleaned and forgiven of all our wrongdoings. John didn't even want to baptize Jesus. You should be baptizing me, he said. Jesus explained that it was important that he himself be baptized. So, John baptized Jesus. When Jesus came out of the water, a dove landed on his shoulder. This was a sign that God's Holy Spirit was on Jesus and was leading him from that day on. In the same moment, a voice came from heaven saying, This is my Son, who I love and who I am pleased with. Right after Jesus was baptized, he went into the desert. He stayed there for 40 days, not eating anything, and was terribly hungry. Then the enemy of God, called the devil, came to him. His goal was to tempt Jesus to do something wrong and leave the way of God. Aren't you the Son of God? He asked Jesus. Look at all these stones lying around. Just make them into bread so you can eat them. You can do that, can't you? Jesus replied by quoting from the Holy Scriptures, the Jewish Bible. Man does not live from bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took Jesus to the roof of the temple in Jerusalem. Jump down, he said. It's written in the Holy Scriptures that nothing will happen to you because the angels will catch you before you hurt yourself. That's true, Jesus replied, but it is also written that you should not try to test God. Finally, the devil took Jesus to the top of a tall mountain where they could see all the kingdoms of the whole world. Join me, he offered Jesus, and I will make you the ruler over all of these places. Go away, devil, Jesus replied. I will follow only God, as the Holy Scriptures say. Seeing that he had no chance to win Jesus over, the devil left him. Then Jesus left the desert and went into the towns and villages to tell the people there about God. Jesus was at a lake to preach. There were a lot of people there who wanted to listen to him. He asked a fisherman named Simon, Can I use your boat to talk to the people from the lake? Simon agreed, and from the boat, Jesus told the people things about God. Then Jesus said to Simon, Go out and throw out your fishing nets. Simon replied, We did not catch anything all night. By day, it was usually a waste of time trying to catch anything because the fish were swimming too far down. But if you say so, Simon said, I'll try. So they went out again to the lake and Simon threw his nets into the water. The nets filled with so much fish that they had trouble bringing them all onto the boat. Some of the nets even tore. Simon had to call for help from other fishermen. John and James. When Simon realized what had just happened, he was startled. 
he knelt in front of Jesus and confessed, Go away from me. I am a bad person. But Jesus answered, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will no longer catch fish, but lead people to God. You will fish for men. The fishermen brought their boats to the beach, left everything behind, and went with Jesus from then on. Jesus was in the synagogue. This is a building similar to our churches today. It was the Sabbath, a weekly Jewish day of rest. No one works on this day. Instead, people gather to learn about God. Jesus was reading from the Jewish Bible and he was explaining what he was reading. Everyone who was listening was amazed at how well he explained the texts. All of a sudden, a man stood out from the crowds and shouted at him, What do you want from us, Jesus? You have come to destroy us. I know who you are, the Son of God. This was not something that the man made up by himself. It was an evil spirit, a demon, possessing him and making him say those words. Jesus told the demon to shut up and leave the man. The demon left the man with a loud shout and he was free. Everyone who saw this wondered where Jesus had received the power to set people free from evil spirits and they praised God for what they had seen. One day, Jesus visited Peter. Peter was one of his friends that are called the disciples. Peter's mother-in-law was at home and had a high fever. Jesus touched her hand and the fever immediately left her. She got up, cooked some food, and served Jesus and his disciples. One evening, after the sun went down, people brought all the sick and those with demons to Jesus. The whole town gathered, and Jesus healed many and cast out demons, but he didn't let the demons speak because they knew who he was. Early the next morning, while it was still dark, Jesus went to a quiet place to pray. Simon and his friends looked for him and said, Everyone is looking for you. Jesus answered, Let's go to other villages so I can preach there too. That's why I came. Then Jesus traveled around Galilee, teaching and helping people. One day, a man with leprosy came to Jesus. Leprosy was a wildly spread skin disease. Lepers had disfigured skin and open wounds. Many people were afraid to get infected by them, so they had to live outside the cities and villages so that the people did not get close to them. This man asked Jesus, If you want to, you can heal me. I want to, Jesus replied and touched him with his hand. Immediately, his skin turned normal again and he was completely healed from his illness. Jesus told him, Don't tell anyone that you were healed. Only go and show the Jewish leaders that you have been healed. <laughs>